Yo guys, what's going on? It's Aces here today with another video and in today's video we're going to be checking out the CR56 AMAX, also known as the Galil. So guys, that is what it's commonly being thrown around as right now is the Galil and um, you know I'm fine with that. The Galil is a really fun weapon but to me personally it just doesn't 100% fit but I'll go with it. That's cool with me. It's not like a dead on fit like the uh, Fennec or the Vector but it works for me. Guys, there's a ton of different attachments you can use for this weapon, and that just means there's going to be a lot of potential for content for it in the future. Right now, we're just going to take this first look in a custom games, and then once I unlock the weapon in the future and level it up the full way, that's when we can start checking out a compact version and a long-range version for the weapon. So we will definitely get some more content with the CR-56 in the future, but let's just take a look at all the brand new attachments. We're going to be skipping over everything we have seen before um, in the muzzle. There's nothing new there. The barrels are obviously all going to be brand new. So we have the Intruder, which is ADS and movement speed. We have the Zodiac, which is going to give you your range, velocity, and recoil control. And then you have the Squall, which is just ADS. Lasers, nothing new there. Optic-wise, I did not see anything new in here. Stock-wise, there's a lot of stock options, which is nice. You have the Close Quarter Stock for ADS, the Hunter, which we've seen before for stability, no stock. The Spartan, which is just um, aim walking movement speed. Then we have the Gatekeeper, which is like the heavy duty big boy stock. For when we make this a sniper variant, this is probably the stock I will try. It just looks like a sniper stock to me. And um, I'm pretty excited to actually use the quote unquote Galil sniper in the future. And then you have the XO, which is kind of more that straight up Galil look that I kind of remember from, you know, the other Black Ops games. So moving down to the perks, nothing really new in here but as you guys can see presence of mind is actually a perk here and like i said there is going to be some options for a longer range class here rear grips they're all the same stuff we are used to just with xrk cr56 thrown in front of all of them then the ammunition we have a 45 round magazine and we have the m67 rounds which is a 762 um just a bigger round kind of like something the dragon would shoot but um, M67, I mean, I'm pretty much going to say it. I'm getting so calm round vibes, and those things are nice on the M4 Sniper. If you guys haven't seen that video, I mean, how you definitely have. It has like 1.2 million views. I don't think I'm going to top that video in my career. But, um, you know, I'm very excited to have the possibility of the Galil Sniper. And then under barrel wise, there's a lot of options. Um, there is on most of the 7.62 uh, weapons. But that's pretty much it, attachment wise. Let's hop in game and give this puppy a try. All right, guys, we are loading into the free for all against all of the bots. And um, yeah, I don't think it's going to be as good as the Vector, that's for sure. But um, I think it's going to be fun, it's going to be solid. But I'm definitely not expecting like the best gun in the game. Just ignore that, that quad feed we just got, it doesn't count. Um, but it's going to be good. I know it's going to be good. Every new weapon that is in the game is going to be good. But, um, yeah, we're kind of shredding a little bit. But, I mean, they are bots, so it depends on how you really want to look at it. But recoil-wise, feels really good with the build that I went with. The ADS isn't terrible. It's not an instant snap, but it's definitely solid. I mean... You know, you're probably losing that gunfight right there against anybody online with an MP5. But, you know, I'm running around kind of playing a little more aggressive with it at the moment. And at the end of the day, it's still an AR. It's still a longer range weapon. So, you know, you got to think of it. How versatile is this gun going to be, you know, in certain situations? Honestly, it feels really good. It feels more consistent than the Vector. But I would have to say, out of the two weapons that were added, the Vector is definitely definitely going to be the superior and i'm calling it the best weapon in the game uh if you guys haven't seen the vector gameplay top right corner hopefully i remember but um the galil definitely feels good i mean it feels really really solid and i might even say it feels solid enough to where i would want to run it over my m4 but you know that's just because of personal preference on the recoil if you guys can stand the recoil on the m4 if you want to run around with it without a stock on and have it kind of a little jumpy then by all means go with the m4 or if you like a bit of a more solid shot and that's gonna melt a little bit quicker than the ak 
this is definitely a really good option. And I would have to place the Goliath very high on the tier list when it comes to, you know, just all the assault rifles in general. It's way up there. It's outbeating the Scar. I wouldn't say it might beat the M13, but I would say it's slightly better than the AK. It's definitely um, got some advantages over the M4, but it's definitely probably not better. You know, I know I'm missing a couple. I would say it's easily better than the Kilo. And um, I know I'm still probably missing one or two ARs. The Graal is probably still going to be reigning superior over it as well. But those are just my opinions. Obviously, you guys can judge the gameplay for yourself just off the, you know, time to kill, ADS, and, you know, there's so many other attachments you can put on this thing and so many different builds you can use with it. It's totally up to you. But, guys, that's pretty much just a first look at the Golil. I think we're going to end it off here. And, um, yeah. I think it's fun. It's definitely a cool weapon. I'm pretty much more excited for the Vector just to level that gun up. But at the same time, that gun felt really, really good. So we'll see what happens in the near future. If you guys enjoyed it, have any questions, anything you want to say in the comments, that's what they're there for, the comments section. Be sure to leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you're new around here. We're going to be uploading tons of Modern Warfare content over the next couple of days, trying to get the rest of this Season 4 content wrapped up. And yeah, make sure you're checking out that membership option as well next to the subscription button. Thank you guys so much for watching this one, and I'm out.